So welcome back guys to a brand new video and now today we have part two of the Ark Creature Submissions videos that we've been doing because one of these creatures is going to be making its way into the official game of Ark Survival Evolved June 2022 with the new Viking map. I really enjoy doing these videos and one thing that I want to say is don't worry I will be doing this for as many as possible. I don't want to make the voting unfair. I've already said to you guys I never mo uh, obviously mention um, what my creature is going to be or anything like that. I don't want to make the votes unfair but I do want to support some of these amazing submissions. Obviously last time we looked at the Titanoceratops. Obviously you've still got lots of time to get your submissions in for what creature you want to come to the game and um, then it works in a way where they obviously um, the top 10 make it to the next round and ne then there's a vote for that and then the winner from the top 10 comes to the official game like how the Dinopithecus won last time so if you guys are excited for today's video which is going to be on the new number one which is currently at number one the giant bison smash that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel and let's get in with the video so as I mentioned, we did the Titanoceratops next. And don't worry, we've got loads more coming up. I will be checking out as many as I can. But we're checking out the giant bison today. Ice Age Cattle. This is currently number one. There's the Titanoceratops has 434 votes. But this one now has 483. Now this will be lasting for a while. So I recommend you getting your votes in. All you have to do is type in ARC uh, or Survive the ARC or ARC Creature Submissions page. And you'll find this. You can put your own one in. Or you can easily just go and vote for whatever one you want to see. So as mentioned... Bison time. Let's talk about it. So big shout out to the Iron Wolf 45 for um, putting this idea on. Um, so obviously it's a herbivore um and uh, let's read about it so in the wild traveling in massive herds for greater pastures the large uh well uh, well bison isn't it in existence is a sight to behold i'm sure that's another name for it. i just didn't even know um with their massive pair of horns they are known to be aggressive chargers and capable of goring any predator willing to challenge them including wolves and bears their large bodies capable of withstanding the harshest winters and their ever-growing pelt, making them durable enough to resist freezing to death. Taming. Extremely sought for their pelt, horns and rich milk, taming a bison isn't as easy as it looks. Many tribesmen attempt to bull ride in hopes to tie them out and begin feeding them when they aren't wide awake. But um, beware of buckling off, uh, well, getting buckled off, sorry, or bucked off. We've, I've seen many tribesmen knocked out and with that heavy ball kicked to the face, some uh, uh, some get, well, basically you're going to be in trouble. That's what I'm just, sometimes obviously someone might put a spelling mistake or something, I don't know. Um, but anyway, so yeah, watching it, it's going to be quite cool if this did come to the game because it's going to be like that buckaroo game where you're going to have to ride it until it tires out. And if you do end up getting kicked off, then it's probably going to do a ridiculous, amount of damage you could see it already it just like makes your bone break or something straight away and then probably finishes you off with its horns and i'm sure there's still a chance to get away if possible i'm sure it'll be hard if you do fail the first time so domesticated once they are tamed this of course unfortunately attracts every now and then random predators who want to raid your livestock and eat them all the milk produced by the females gives any baby animal being raised a quite needed boost. Potentially can be warmed up in a cooking pot for um, a special buff against cold weather. And with their hulking bodies, they offer extra warmth and can carry, mu uh, well, can carry weight much like the modern ox. Like modern cattle, their feces is much more potent fertilizer, often referred as cow pie, um, and this gives crops a boost of extra harvest. And then this is obviously a picture of the bison, which I would love to see a massive prehistoric one in the game. I mean, it would be scary, that is for sure. In the arc meta, combat-wise, built in with a charge mechanic similar to the Triceratops and the Woolly Rhinoceros, the Bison could impale its victims into their horns and gore them to bleed out, as well as a herd buff as um, to boost their strength with mate boost activated, dealing extreme damage, which is, that sounds interesting, and then crippling debuff inflicted on players and dinosaurs if successfully char uh, charges at you. Utility. Another farm am animal for the common PvE or role play and players who would love a cow in Ark, like the ones in Atlas. 
Bison milk um, uh, in turn could be cooked warmly to drink as an insulation buff against the cold or fed to babies, especially baby wyverns who require milk themselves. With heavy weight, they could carry loads of resources back to base from extremely long, uh, well, from an extremely long haul. When bison uh, defecate, they drop special feces called cowpie, which is much better than other dinosaur feces and much more efficient, sometimes giving the crops a boost of extra harvest. With a unique cart or wagon saddle, depending on the type of saddle chosen, affects how the player uh, can, well, how much weight they can carry on the back from point A to point B with more speed. To do with raids, having a livestock of these bison, uh, of, of this bison, oh, of this bison or these bison will eventually lead to many predators wanting to assault your base to eat your beef much in the same manner as how the corrupt uh, corrupted attack element veins um, slash osds or the nameless harassing you if you don't have a charge pet you will have to turn on uh, um, turn on full cowboy to keep them at bay every now and then so for the new map, which I can never pronounce it, but I go for for Fjord or for Fjord or Fjord, I I, I Fjord, I'm gonna go for. Um, you guys will know better in the comment section. Um, useful in colder areas, especially in there's a place. Obviously, I can never pronounce this, but Jotunheim. I'm gonna say, um, this is one of the parts of the maps on this. If you do want to check out this map, I've done a full video where we looked around it, and uh, obviously gives you guys an idea of what to expect in June. Uh, the bison's thick fur uh, pelt will keep the player protected from the dangerous sub-zero temperatures and deter off any nasty wolves or bears who cut oh, dead to come too close major harvester if on a trip on foot to harvest metal or wood or various other resources depending on the cart or wagon saddle will speed determine uh, uh, determine the rough terrain that there is um, and then with pre predatory dinosaurs and other animals wanting to eat your livestock you could either use this to your advantage to lure a high level carnivore or simply farm experience from killing them all so what do you guys think about the bison coming to the game as a prehistoric version a giant bison as mentioned this is number one right now on the um creature submissions list there are so many more that i'm going to be looking at and i really can't cannot wait for it it is early days with this guys though you have to remember that with the last vote there was like three two to three thousand votes and there is only coming up to 500 on the first creature here get it's not too late to get your if you haven't done one that you want to already it is not too late it's only been live for a few days uh, as you can see saturday which is when the stream was there so it's only been a few days so you've got all the time to still get it in and as i mentioned if you want to just do your vote then you can do so what I mentioned in this video is this is not me. I saw one of the comments saying, you know, oh, look, another YouTuber making the vote go unfairly or something. This is not me saying go and vote for the Bison. This is just me doing a review of this. I'm going to be doing as many as I can. I'm not going to mention what my favorite is. Let's make it as fair as possible. I'm just going to obviously do the top 10. And uh, obviously, because this gives an idea, it kind of helps you guys read into it and see what you might want to see. And, and you can base it off what people say in the comments comment section as well to what you want your vote to be so leave a like subscribe if you did enjoy i cannot wait for the next one i'm going to be doing as many of these over the next few weeks as i can until the official top 10 is here thank you for watching leave a like subscribe and i'll catch you guys in my next video